the Pro Airbrush Gun with Mini Air Compressor is a great compact unit that packs a powerful punch in a space saving package. This video will cover how to set the unit up, use it, and take care of it. Let's begin. Inside the box, you'll find everything you need. There is the Mini Air Compressor. There is a nice long air tube. These are airbrush gun holders. This is the power supply. And this is the airbrush gun. We recommend holding on to all your original packaging at least until you've tested all of the functions of the unit. Once you confirm everything is working properly, we recommend keeping the packaging for the duration of your warranty period. However, if you don't have space, it's fine to dispose of the packaging after you've tested all the functions. You can put an airbrush gun holder on either side of the compressor. Because the air tube is wrapped tightly in the box, you'll want to take the tubing and squeeze out any kinks. You'll notice both ends of the tube have these metal connectors. One of them is an extra connector which needs to be taken off. The end with no connector gets attached to the airbrush gun. The other end screws into the air compressor. Plug in the power supply here and plug the other end into an outlet. Once it's plugged in, you'll see a solid red light appear around the on off button. Now you can test the unit. In order to tell the compressor that you want to use the airbrush gun, lightly touch the button. You'll see that the solid red light is now blinking. This means the compressor is ready to use. When you press the button on the top of the airbrush gun, air will begin coming out. The light on the compressor will turn blue when air is coming out. To turn the compressor off, lightly press and hold the on-off button and then release. You'll see that the light goes back to solid red. Please note that when the light is solid red, air will not come out of the unit because the compressor hasn't been told that someone wants to use it. Another thing to note is that there are three different speed settings. When air is coming out, you can lightly press the button and it will cycle through the different speeds. When you're done using the compressor for the day, make sure it's unplugged. If you're pressing the button on the airbrush gun and nothing is happening, there are two possible reasons for this. Check the light on the machine. If it's solid red, it will not turn on because the machine has not been told that someone wants to use it. If you press the button and it starts to blink, but it still won't turn on when you press the button on the airbrush gun, the next thing to check is the tubing. There may be a kink in the tubing that is not allowing air to escape. When using the airbrush gun, you can put an activating serum in the reservoir on the top. You can use any serum you like as long as it's water-based. Using an oil-based serum could clog the airbrush gun. If you push the button straight down, only air will come out. If you want air and serum to come out, press the button down and then pull it back. At the end of the day, we recommend taking a minute to clean the airbrush gun. There are two ways to clean it. Make sure the reservoir is nearly empty of serum, then add warm water to the reservoir. Finally, press the button down and pull it back. Blow the warm water onto a napkin for about 30 seconds. This will flush out any serum that was inside the gun. When you're done, you can dump out any water that's left in the reservoir. The second way to clean the gun is to have a jar or cup of warm water and put the gun into the water so that the end and the reservoir are submerged. Then push the button on the gun and pull it back. This will cycle water through the reservoir and the gun. Let it cycle through for about 30 seconds. Then take the airbrush gun out of the water. If the airbrush gun gets clogged, please clean the gun with one of the two cleaning procedures that we just covered. If you've been using the airbrush gun for a while and you notice that a particular serum clogs it, we recommend putting the serum directly on your client's skin and then blowing with air. That way you can still use the serum without the gun getting clogged. Thank you for your interest in the Pro Airbrush Gun with Mini Air Compressor. If you would like to learn more about it, you can click the link on the top left corner of the video screen.